Crew, can you hear me? This is General Microchip reporting from the VV Determinist. Crew, do you copy? Crew? The robot lady, she cut off communications. What is this? Hello. Oh my days, Elsa. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> Shake my head. Oi! Jack, what did you do? What's this on my shoulder? Shh, guys, listen up. Act normal. There could still be cameras around. I snuck those on y'all when y'all weren't looking. Those are Fleming's sonar communication devices. They come in real handy underwater. Robot lady can cut off comms but she can't mess with Fleming's sonar tech. I will update Fleming's uh, special frequency, and once there's a leak in the communication block, we can uh, communicate with Venush. But I bet this wasn't originally meant to help us communicate, was it, General Jack Uzi? There's a difference between facilitating discussion and spying, you know? All this while, I was helping my enemies defeat me. I can't believe such dim-witted creatures could lead entire armies, hide spying devices in such dismal positions, and attempt to fool me. I'll destroy him. No, 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 Mike. Wait. Calm down. Chill, bro. Chill. Take a deep breath. Think calming thoughts. Think about warm-up routines. Uh, I think you're the one who needs to calm down. It's not like they can even see each other in person. For now. They're safe for each other. For now. And what if they find each other? Nothing wrong with letting them beat each other up a little. Makes my job easier too, you know. But... You know, Mike, I was actually growing kind of fond of you, despite your egoistic narcissism. But you're going a bit far. Fleming and Nobel ain't on the best of terms nowadays. I bet my king will be real happy if I exterminate you down here. Ooh, I feel like egoistic narcissism might be the most complicated phrase I've ever heard you say. That is going to be one of your last ones too. Guys, please, how about we all just take a deep breath. Jack, take in some of this nice air. Look here, fat neeks. My planet needs the core. So I'm prepared to do whatever it takes to bring it back to them. Wow, what a patriot. What are you suggesting then? Let's just say I've got a pointy trident and I know how to use it real well. Threatening the lady? How ungentlemanly. I imagine sea creatures don't take well to burning. Guys, stop and listen. We haven't even found the core. And most importantly, we don't even know if this core is real. Are we really gonna fight each other over this? After becoming friends? After we saved each other's skins? After all we've been through together? Uh, what was I thinking? That's so cringe. Whoa, I thought I learned in bio that self that evolution takes years. How did you develop such self-awareness in such a short span of time? It pains me, Sai, but I do have to agree with that single brain cell of yours. That that was cringe, like really very, very, very much cringe. Goosebump inducing mega cringe. Congrats, Sai. You managed to unite us on one thing. Um... Thank you. I think. Mm, but sappiness aside, the emotionally overwhelming creature has a point. Before we fight over the core, we still have a common enemy and a common goal to find it. Emotionally? What? You? Hey. Mm, I think Mike is right. First things first, we find the core. Then? We fight. No. We engage in a peaceful, harmonious, constructive discussion about whether or not we should fight because I don't think any of us really wants to. Do we? That's what I thought. Do we have a truce? Truce. truce. 
Is this why people like to retreat to social media when they fight in real life? Imagine how this would have gone if you could see each other now. Nah, you wouldn't be seeing anything, bro. I'd have knocked you out like a dead fish in two seconds. Flat. I pass away. It's alright, princess. We're on a truce now. Elsa's the princess, not me. Wait, shh. Think about it. Something's wrong. That robot lady, by splitting us up after we found each other's identities, she essentially prevented us from fighting. Why, I think it must be a trap. Mm, yeah, that's hella sus. Calm down ah. Uh. She probably expected some kind of Hunger Games situation. Cause she doesn't know we can still communicate. Probably doesn't know such nifty little devices exist. She's like a clunky old spaceship that's been here for a hundred years. She's like the boomer of boomers, you know. Wait, what's a boomer? The generation of people on my planet who were so traumatized by the nuclear disaster that they refused to use technology even ages later. Nuclear. Boom. Get it? Claire, did you, by any chance, order such special effects to accompany your words? Initiating security protocol. Maximum internal defense activated in 5 minutes. Apparently not. Wait, but why? Why ramp up security now? Only one explanation for it. Check your whereabouts. We've been eavesdropped on. Ah, curse word. It's here. My bad. Gotta move on, guys. She probably knows where we are now. How's the situation? Nothing's happening on my side. Nothing here too. No changes. I... Oh, no, 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 this is so not cool. Why is it that I have to be the one who's trapped in the place of the highest security? Wait, say that again? Uh, so not cool? No, the heaviest defenses. If the core was being transported on this spaceship back then... It, it would have been stored in the area with high security. So we just have to figure out where this, I this area is. Ah, uh, but how? It's four of us in a massive spaceship and comms are down. Wait, wait, no. Not necessarily. We have a chance. You know, when the security was activated, there was a leak in the, there was a loophole. So right, I can use that loophole to link with Vinush. Guys, we can send a pre-recorded message to, message to them to let them know that it's us. Starting now. Let's wait, go. what? Hold on, I'm not ready. Uh, I, I mean, crew. This is General Cybertron from the VB Determinist. I have formed an alliance with General from Fibonacci, Fleming and Nobel. Um, temporary alliance. So full of yourself. This is General Jack Uzi. We've encountered an unknown enemy on board who seems determined to stop us from accomplishing our mission. Call her Robot Lady from now. General Nuclear here. We need help mapping out all regions of heavy defense on this ship in order to find the call. Jack will send our real-time coordinates to headquarters. General Microchip reporting. The situation is dire. I estimate a 96% chance that our enemy is stronger than us four combined. We will need reinforcements. Be prepared for battle. Over. That's it. No encouragement. You're terrible. Why did we let you end off? Fam, I'm still recording. Also, a man who cosplays himself has no right to judge another man's... Why is it so hard to separate them? They're always stuck together like... Like... Yes, thank you. Stem to a letter? Birds of a feather? Do you get water into your CPU? I did not ask for song lyrics. I know that I'm the one controlling you, but as nice robots, you don't have to point that out. Good. And I also know that there isn't any water here, or at least there wasn't, until those humans arrived. Ugh, why can't those humans just go away? 
I need to think of another way to deal with them. You're right. Humans in my day weren't as loud or jumpy or with such lack of propriety. I mean, sticking gadgets onto someone's hips. That's just... I, I did it again, didn't I? Someday, I might not wake up again. Wh where was I? That's right, that's right. Dealing with the humans. Hips, hips, hip. Hypnotization! Oh, you're a genius! <laughs>